everybody, JC here with another T&I toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new DC Comics 7-inch scale Gotham TV series figures from not DC Collectibles, but Diamond Select Toys. Now these figures come packaged in the same style of packaging we see with their other select figures like their Marvel Select line. You've got the figures clearly displayed in the packaging along with the accessories. You've got on the side of the packaging look at the characters from the actual TV show and then on the back we have a look at the figures and brief bios for each character. So the first wave includes Jim Gordon, Selena Kyle, and the Penguin. Okay so let's get these open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside of the packaging. Now these are early review samples sent to us by Diamond Select Toys, so thanks to, for them for sending these out. Now I am not going to spend a lot of time focusing on reviewing these actual figures. What I wanted to do with this review is kind of show you how they fit in with other DC collectible 7 inch scale figures like the Arrow and Flash TV series figures. We actually had Shardimus Prime do an in-depth review of, of these three figures uh, a week or so ago. I have a link in the description uh, for that review if you haven't checked it out already. And if you haven't, I highly recommend that you do. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time um, individually reviewing these figures since we've already, since Shardimus already did that for you. Um, I will give you my thoughts, my quick thoughts on these figures. I think overall, I heard Diamond Select has done a pretty good job with this uh, with this line. I think they captured the likeness of the Selena Kyle character almost dead on. I think they did a really good job with that one. Jim Gordon, I think they did a really poor job of capturing the likeness of the actor. Uh, face sculpt really, to me, does not look anything like Jim Gordon. Uh, Penguin, I think, you know, it's decent. It's not, it's not, it's not as good as Selena Kyle, but it, but it's not terrible. Um, I think it's a little bit off just because it's kind of stuck in that one facial expression, which is kind of a facial expression you see him have in the TV series, but it kind of looked, you know, since he's kind of just stuck in that one facial expression, it kind of uh, makes the figure a little off to me, but but definitely it's a, it's a much better job of capturing the actor than they did with the Jim Gordon figure. And then again, the Selena Kyle, I think, is, is dead on. I think they did a really good job with that one. Each figure comes with a number of accessories. A penguin comes with an umbrella, like you know, you see him used throughout many of the episodes. And of course, you know, Penguin is known for having his umbrellas. He also comes with an apple. I don't recall him having, you know, an apple in the show, but I'm sure one of the episodes he had an apple. He also comes with two pairs of left hands, which I think are supposed to be, you know, a little bit different grip. Um, one probably holds the apple a little bit better, but to be honest, these seem kind of redundant. They're not different enough to me that it doesn't really seem to add anything to the figure. So, I don't know. But he does come with uh, basically a total of three pairs of left hands. Gordon just comes with a pistol. It's all black. Not a whole lot of detail with that. And then uh, Selena Kyle comes with a, a carton of milk, which is just white with a blue cap. I think, you know, you see her drinking out of a carton of milk in, in Gordon's apartment in one of the episodes. You know, of course, Catwoman, milk, you know, so I'm sure that's why they threw it in there. And then besides the accessories, each uh, figure comes with a display base. Penguin comes with a, a dock piece. It's uh, it's just a solid piece of plastic. You know, in the ep one of the episodes, Gordon's supposed to go take Penguin out and kill him and throw him, in the, uh, throw him off the dock into the water. Which of course he doesn't, because that's kind of out of character for the uh, for Gordon. At least in the first season, it was. And nice detailing on that. And then Selena, Kyle, and and Gordon come with uh, two pieces that connect together. They come with uh, basically to create a fire escape. And you just there is some assembly required with those. Gordon comes with the bottom piece that has uh, you know the the ground. And you've got a, a beat up cardboard box and some uh, old garbage cans and, and a sewer grate. And then uh, Selena Kyle comes with the top part with the actual fire escape. And you've got the ladder on the side and, and the grating and everything. And there is some assembly required with those, but, but nothing too major. Okay, so as I said before, what I wanted to primarily focus on is to show you comparisons of how well these fit in with like uh, DC Collectibles uh, 
own TV series figures like Arrow and The Flash and such. So, and they do actually fit in pretty nicely with one another. They are all 7 inch scale figures. Here is a comparison of, of Jim Gordon with uh, the newest uh, Arrow TV series figure. This is the more recent Arrow figure that DC Collectibles just released. And you can see they're about the same height. Gordon and Arrow are about the same height. So, you know, I think that works pretty well. And then here's The Flash. Here's the DC Collectibles Flash TV series, and, and Flash is a little bit shorter than, the, than Gordon. Uh, so again, I think the scale on these work pretty good. And I also uh, think that these uh, display bases, like the Fire Escape base, works pretty nicely with uh, these figures. This display base, this Fire Escape base, it stands about 10 and a half inches tall, and you have it all assembled. So it's not in perfect scale with any of these figures. Uh, you know, I think this would have been nicer if maybe they'd made this a little bit taller you know maybe 12 inches um gordon you know when you stand him on the on the bottom piece you know his head kind of hits the the fire escape so you know it would have been nice i mean you can get it in there but you know definitely doesn't look at all in scale i mean obviously it, you know it would be pretty hard to do it in exact scale but like i said if they'd made this a little bit taller i think it would have uh, looked a little bit better still i think you can get some nice poses and stuff if you wanted to uh the flash definitely i think you know works well you know, if you want the flash kind of running like do a running through the city pose or something then i think you can definitely get that um, Selena Kyle, I think, works really well with this, um, you know, especially like if you have her climbing up the ladder, I think that works well. So I, I, I th you know, if you want some extra, you know, display pieces, some backdrops or something for, you know, your Arrow or Flash or obviously Gotham figures, I, I think these display bases uh, work nicely. And here, you know, Deathstroke, the TV Deathstroke figure from the Arrow line. Here he is next to uh, Penguin and, and Selena Kyle. So again, I think the scale overall works uh, pretty nicely with that. Rock piece, you know, it's just a it's just a simple piece. It's you know, so I mean, obviously you can stand uh, any figure on it, and so. You know, I guess if you need a dock, I mean, this uh, out of the, I like the fire escape display piece much better than the dock piece. And then real quick, just for one more fun comparison, here's uh, the Bruce Wayne figure that came with that uh, recently released Arkham box set from DC Collectibles. So if you kind of wanted to jump ahead and have a grown up Bruce Wayne with your, your Jim Gordon figure, um, again, I think the scale works pretty good between these two. So, you know, if you want a young Jim Gordon with a with an older Bruce Wayne, you know, these two kind of work together. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I would say, you know, these figures all fit in nicely with one another. If you're a fan of Arrow, Gotham, and, and, and Flash and want to kind of do a crossover with your figures, then I th definitely think these lines are, are fairly compatible with one another. As far as the actual Gotham figures go, I think Diamond Select did a pretty good job. Um, well, I think they did a really good job capturing the likeness of the Selena Kyle uh, actress. Gordon, not so much. I really don't like the Gordon face sculpt on this figure. Um, Penguin, I think they did a decent job. It's not as nice as Selena Kyle, but I, I think they did a pretty nice job with that one. I don't have an exact release date on these figures. Uh, again, I think they should probably start hitting comics and specialty shops within the next couple of weeks. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There's a link in the description below. And as I said before, if you want a more in-depth review of the actual Gotham figures, you know, looking at the articulation and everything, then be sure to check out uh, Shardamish Prime's review of these figures. I have a link in the description below for that as well. As always, leave a comment if you caught the first episode of Season 2 of Gotham. Let us know what you think. Do you think the show has gotten better over time? Um, and, you know, let us know what your thoughts on these figures are as well. And then, as always, you know, if you haven't, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.